Hi there and welcome to this video about enlargement with a given centre of enlargement. So let's start with this first one then. Um, enlarge the shaded triangle by a scale factor one and a half with a centre of P. So we're given where P is in this example. Uh, sometimes this will be given as a coordinate. Uh, the scale factor is one and a half and that means that all of these uh, lengths of the triangle will be one and a half times bigger than in the original one. Now because we're given a centre of enlargement, we can also think of it as all of these points on the triangle will be one and a half times further away than they currently are. So let's consider point A. So I've labelled it A, B and C just to make it easier to um, see where each point goes. So let's consider point A. To get from P to point A, we go 4 up. Okay. Now if we've got a scale factor of one and a half, then I times by 1.5 this 4 up. So if I times 4 by 1.5, I get 6. So we're going to go 6 up. So to go from point P, we go 6 up to just here. So the new point in our enlargement is A dash, and that's 6 up from P. Okay, let's do point C then. So to get from P to C, we go 2 to the right, And we're going to times that by 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 and we end up with 3. So we're going 3 to the right of P, which is just here. So my new point for C is just there, so I'm calling that C dash. Okay, so slightly more difficult is the point B, only in the sense that we've got to go to the right and also up. So to get from B, P to B, we go 4 to the right and 4 up. So 4 right and 4 up. Well, we're going to times both of those by 1.5, so we're going to end up going 6 to the right and 6 up. Okay, so 6 to the right, 6 up, and we end up with this point here. And this gives us our new point here. And all we need to do then is join the points up. Obviously, use a pencil ruler for this part. Um, and there's our new shape and all of these lengths now will be one and a half times longer than the original shape so you could measure them just check you've done it correctly and all of the points will be one and a half times further away from P than the original shape. Okay, let's go on to this next one. Enlarge the triangle A by a scale factor of minus one and a half with a given centre O. So O is the origin which is zero, zero. So well worth knowing that fact there. So that's where our centre of enlargement is. Now, we've got a negative scale factor. And what that means is that all the directions will be reversed. So let's take our triangle and label it A, B and C. Um, so to get from O to A, what I need to do is I need to go two right and I need to go one up. Now, because we're going to times by minus one and a half, all of these are going to be one and a half times bigger, but in the other direction. So if we times two by one and a half, we get three, and it's going to be left. If we times one by one and a half, we get one and a half. And instead of up, it's going to be down. And that's what the negative element does. It means that the direction is reversed. So three to the left and one and a half down. So our new point for A is just here. Uh, the next one, to get from O to C, well at the moment we go 3 to the right and 1 up. So let's write that down, 3 to the right and 1 up. So, if we times that by 1.5, we get uh, 4.5. Uh, so it's 3 to the right, so it's now going to be left because it's a negative scale factor. And instead of one up, we're now going to go one and a half down from the point zero. So, four and a half to the left, and one and a half down takes me to just here. So, C dash, our new point for C, is going to be just there. So, the last one we've got is point B, which is two to the right, and three up. So if I times both of these by one and a half, I end up with um, three, and instead of being to the right, it's to the left, 
and if I times 3 by 1.5 I get 4.5 and, and instead of up it's down. So go from here, 3 to the left, 4.5 down and we end up with our new point um, B dash which is just here. So the new triangle is just there. Notice that one of the things that happens when you have a negative scale factor is that the triangle or the shape is upside down. Okay, so this last one then, I'll leave you to try this yourself and pause the video and then check your answer um, when you've completed it. Okay, so there you go. Um, that's all for this video and hope to see you again.